say what's cracking YouTube it's your boy 16 to life and I'm back like I'm on a pro violation you're damn now for those of y'all that's new to my page in 1994 I got arrested I was eventually sentenced to 16 years plus life and I served 24 years straight in the California prison system during those times I accumulated some good stories I'm going to share one with y'all today. If you like the story, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and definitely hit that notification bell. That way, anytime I drop a story, you will be notified ASAP, and you can hop on it whenever you're ready. Also, I rap. Do not get it twisted because I'm a little older. My flow is not like Curtis Blow. Uh, go to my YouTube playlist. Scroll down to gas stations. You will see a lot of my music there, and I guarantee you're going to be surprised. Also, there's some of my stories there organized in different categories. Check it out. You're going to enjoy it. Now, let's hop into this story right here. Now, as you see by the title, this was the first and only time I seen two large groups of white prisoners get into it. Um, there was several times where I seen, you know, like a two-on-one, a three-on-one, like somebody being disciplined or removed. But as far as just seeing a riot type situation with two opposing white sides, I never saw that. Sometimes you may hear me use the term riot when actually the proper term is uh, melee or brawl or something like that. But that's the terminology that CDC uses when they write you up. So sometimes I just go with that term when actually when in actuality it's more like a small brawl or something like that. Right now, this took place. At Salinas Valley, level four, a 180. Now, a 180 is a maximum prison, and it's the highest form of uh, the highest form of security that that uh, the California Department of Correction has. Now, they have a level four, then they have a level four 180. And so, basically, what a level four 180 is, it's like a shoe kickout. The shoe is the security housing unit, or um, where you're sent to once you have a disciplinary action. On a prison yard. So if you get charged with stabbing, assault, caught with drugs, um, murder, you'll go to the hole. If you're found guilty, they give you a shoe term. After you do your shoe term, then you are sent to a level four 180, which is basically like a kick out. You know, you have to go there. So you're going to pretty much have the worst or the worst. Or if you're coming to prison and you have a bunch of time, heinous crimes, they may also send you to a level four 180. So Unfortunately for me, uh, Salinas Valley Level 4 180 was the first prison that I got sent to ever. And so when I get there, right, I'm not, it doesn't have the um, look of a prison or the look that I thought a prison would have in my mind, I guess, that I had got from watching the movies and stuff. There's no bars, none of that type of stuff, you know, no, no floors. It's like it reminded no top floors or different tiers, top tiers, uh, you know, um, it reminded me of basically like a college dormitory. It's fresh paint. There's no bars. Everything is pretty much ran um, electronically and stuff. And so um, now this particular prison, Salinas, had just opened. So um, the yard was fresh. The building, it was fresh paints on the building. You know, you had a lot of big rocks and dirt out on the yard. It still hadn't been smoothed out. Actually, when I went to my cell, there was sawdust still on my cell, uh, sawdust in my cell, um, you know, nuts and bolts. The prison was new. And so what they was doing is... They was busing a lot of prisoners from other prisons to fill this prison up to capacity. And so the bad thing, too, about that, when you're opening up a new yard like that, when you go to a new prison, you have all these different organizations and collectives trying to establish their territory. They're picking out territory for strategic purposes. Sometimes a certain area, a certain bench, it might be more um, advantageous for them to hide knives, hide weapons. Uh, sometimes, you know, they may they may want to be right here because their handball court is right next uh, right next to the to the bench that they're that they want to sit at. And then so in the event something happens, they have a larger number of people right there. It's just all different type of, uh, of reasons that people are jockeying for positions as well as jobs. You know, you have certain jobs that you can help move your paraphernalia. You can maybe be able to get weapons and stuff. So it's just a whole lot of uh, stuff going on. A lot of problematic issues when you open up a new prison in California. And of course, if these issues can't be resolved, then sometimes they turn to violence. So, you have, you know, you have people um, deciding what showers their, their people is going to use, you know, what weight pile, just a whole lot of stuff. So sometimes it can definitely get it definitely can get tricky. Then also you have 
what people call cleaning their backyard or cleaning house because with all these different um, convicts and prisoners being bust in from different prisons, sometimes a prisoner may come and he has some smuggling from another prison or something that needs to be handled. So you, you see a lot of that stuff going on as well, right? Um, sometimes too, you also have uh, eternal struggles in these prisons. You know, you have different people trying to decide who's going to run their particular car or the different organization. So it's a whole lot of stuff that goes on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now at these 180s also, let me briefly des uh, describe the prison for you. A uh, 180 is called that because the guard in the tower, he has a 180 view of the building as opposed to a regular building, which is a 270. A regular building is like maybe goes in a big old giant, almost like a U. Well, this 180 is designed to have less amount of prisoners in a particular place in the event something happens, it's easier to control. So how when you're on the yard, you know, there's a big old track on the yard, you would come into the building, the door is open electronically. There's a gun tower above you and uh, he has a little, um, there's little like glass windows. He can look down and watch you walking and then he also can look out and see into the actual building, of course, too. So now the building is broke and divided into different little sections. A section, B section, C section. And then there are about maybe 10 uh, cells in each in each section, top and bottom. I believe there's a number of altogether 32, 32 cells. Uh, but the building is sectioned off, A section, B section, C section. So if you're in A section, when you come in that, that little hallway, which is known as a rotunda, when they first let you in, then there's another electronic door that slides open. Then you go into your respective section. Um, you're not allowed to go into B section and C section. There's a little door there and it has to be buzzed open electronically. Uh, the guard, he can, if he, if he comes down out of that tower area, because they have guards on the floor too sometimes, he can walk from B section to C section and uh, so on and so forth, right? So like I say, um, there's a whole lot of, you know, sometimes eternal struggles going on. And so by me being black and this being an altercation with the whites, of course, I wasn't privy to, the reason I, they were fighting and stuff like that. And when you're doing time in California, you'll see a lot of that. You'll see a lot of fights where you don't have the background story on everything that happens. You just look up and beep, boop, pop, pop, see somebody swabbing, right? So now sometimes in some um, some situations between races, uh, we will give other races a courtesy warning to let them know, hey, listen, man, uh, today we got to remove somebody from the yard. So when we come out the first yard, we're going to whoop on this dude. And that's done from, for a number of reasons. Mainly so um, it doesn't create a problem among races. Say, for instance, uh, a black dude is getting beat up. He may be a uh, light-skinned black dude. If you have a Hispanic or somebody look over there and think this, it's a Hispanic dude being jumped on, they, of course, are going to run over there to try to aid them. Um, then they're going to start fighting and then the whole yard erupts. So when you let them know, hey, man, listen, we're over here. We're going to discipline our people. It prevents that situation from happening. So now let me get to this situation right here. So now one day we outside on the yard, right? I can't exactly remember who I was with. It may have been cartoon, not the cartoon from Five Trey Avalon with the prison show. Another dude by the name of cartoon from 8-7 Gangster. Or I may have been out there with a a uh, little country from 8-9 East Coast. I can't remember which, right? But we were shooting free throws. We were shooting to see who can make the most free throws out of 10. Uh, somebody says, hey, man, look up, look up, watch out. So now we look up. I look, I turn around because we're at the basketball court. They're coming on the track. Maybe it's maybe 10, 15 guys on this side, maybe 12, 13 different guys on this side, different groups of white people, right? So like I say, we haven't got a courtesy on that. We don't know what the hell is going on, right? So I turn around and... I didn't know any of these dudes with the exception of this one white dude by the name of Charlie. Sometimes they called him preacher. I can't remember if me and Charlie happened to be in the same building or how I happened to know that guy. Though anyway, I look up and see Charlie has a long gray tube state sock. And you can tell he obviously has something in his uh, state sock. I'm assuming it was a piece of rock or a piece of concrete off that yard. And so once the two groups get close enough, beep, boop. They go to squab and that's all you see is squabbing. Now, in a situation like this, it's extremely hard to lock in on one particular individual because there's so much going on. But due to the fact that I knew Charlie or I knew who he was and he had that sock, 
with the rock in it or whatever it was, I kind of focused in on him. So he ran up on somebody and woof, he swung the uh he swung the um the rock with the sock, but he missed. It was really uncoordinated and it looked like he wasn't that athletic. So whoever he swung at just stepped back and once he swung it, they just boop bop hit him with a nice two piece, knocked him down. When they knocked him down, they ran up to him and boom kicked him right in the face with them state boots and Charlie was out. He was just laid out, you know. Dude kicked on him a couple of times and he moved on. Um it's just people squabbing. Big boop bop bop. Just that's all you see is people squabbing. Another particular dude I remember, he was a big giant dude and he was kind of going through the crowd just bing, boom. He was just busting people just swinging and then somebody came from the blind side of him and just boom cracked him. When they cracked him he bent over. When he bent over a couple of dudes White dudes, of course, hopped on him and just beep, boop, pop, pop, boop, pop. They was on his hill, meet though, beating him real heavy, like. And, you know, or, as maybe a white dude would say, damn, bro, they was fucking wailing on his ass, bro. They fucking beat the shit out of that dude, bro. But anyway, say so hopped on him, they was on him. You know, eventually, um, the guards spotted this. They go to holler and get down, get down, get down. Now, um, when they holler, get down, they want us to prone flat out and lay on the ground, lay on our um, stomachs put our hands out and lay down like that. But nobody is too quick to get down when they're doing that, especially the participants of the fight. Because if you happen to get down, um, some somebody may run up, stab you, kick you or whatever. So, um, and of course, since I wasn't in the fight, I definitely wasn't getting down only because I'm looking around because like I said, this is a level four, 180 and each building has a um, guard in the, in, the, in the tower with a mini 14 that shoots two, two threes. And he'll, they'll come to that to that part where it looks over the yard, and sometimes they may go to shoot if they happen to see a weapon. And I had heard I had heard numerous stories about people getting shot who wasn't even participating in whatever incident was going on on the yard. Sometimes um, maybe they got shot due to bad aim. Maybe they had got into it with a guard, and he was taking advantage of an opportunity to shoot a person. So uh, yeah, I didn't get down right away. I got I was by the basketball court. I knelt by the pole, and then once the guards got close enough. Uh, and the white guys proned out, then I kind of proned out and stuff. So uh, when something like that happens, depending on the number of people hurt, stabbed, or severely hurt, we may be outside, laid on the ground, sometimes maybe four or five hours, you know. They'll cuff everybody that's participating. They'll cuff everybody that's of that particular race um, that's even in the vicinity, you know, um, sometimes. And sometimes people who don't participate, just due to the close proximity of the incident, get took to the hole. But in this situation, you know, um, they realized it was all white dudes. I believe they put the cuff ties or the handcuffs on them, whatever it was then, you know, we stayed on the ground for a while. Uh, eventually they got those dudes up. They took those dudes to the hole. Um, like I said, though, during the whole entire 24 years, that was the only time I seen two opposing groups of whites go at it like that. I've seen, you know, removals, but, uh, I've never seen that with the whites. Um, there was one time I also seen it with the Hispanics in Ironwood on a yard, but uh, it's extremely, extremely rare. Anyway, you already know what it is. It's your boy 16 to life. Soon as those um, interviews by chances get approved, uploaded by YouTube, uh, we on. So until then, resume normal program.